Hey there, Sean here. So in today's video, we're actually going to talk about setting up a business page in Facebook. So I know uh, at this point, some people are probably saying, well, why do I need a business page? I actually have a personal page. Um, really for two reasons. Number one is for branding. You want to brand who you are, right? Uh, you want to brand your business. So you want to run it through your business account. Um, number two, and equally as important, is actually Facebook. It's against their terms to use your personal account to represent something other than yourself. So for example, your business. And it states this in their terms and policies. Um, I have heard of people actually losing access to their personal account because they were advertising their business through it. So it's just, you want to be on the safe side, especially if you are going to be growing a large following. You don't want to lose your personal page because if you lose your personal page, you lose everything associated with it, personal business, everything. So that's the main two reasons. All right, um, so now that that's out of the way, let's go ahead and set up a fan page or business page. First thing you do is go to your home page on Facebook. Um, you'll look up here to the top right. You'll see create a page. Click on that and you'll have six different options. Um, really only two that you probably need to, to be concerned with. If you want to use your physical address, um, you could use local business or place. And this is actually pretty handy because if you do use your physical address in your profile and are set up as a local business, people that are on Facebook, in your zip code, in your city, Facebook will recommend your page to those people um, through their newsfeed. If you just want to avoid putting in your physical address, a lot of what a lot of network marketers do is actually use a brand or product. And that's what we're gonna do here today. So click on brand or product. You wanna choose a category and you can either do health or beauty. There's also vitamin supplements. I generally do, the, do just um, health and beauty. So we're gonna click there. And then you're gonna type in what you want your page name to be. Um, here I'm going to put in love my slim products. I mean, you can put anything in there and we're gonna see if that's available. That's not. So we're just gonna put in, I love my slim today. We'll see if that takes. All right, I think that is available. So now that you've got your page set up, um, let's go ahead and add a couple pictures. Um, the first one being your cover photo, which is right here. Click on the little photo, uh, camera icon and you want to upload a photo. I'm going to use this one and you can drag and drop to better position it on there. Click save. Now for this picture, I'd actually recommend you use a personal photo. Um, mainly being because if especially people that you don't know land on your page, it just gives it a more personal feel and um, you know makes people more comfortable. They feel like they can trust, you know, they can see who they're dealing with. Um, the next thing, add a cover photo. Now before I add my photo here, I want to call out one thing. So the way that Facebook positions this photo, they're pretty strict on the image size that they're looking for. For best placement within this section here, your photo should be between, uh, should have a dimensions of 851 by 315 pixels. Now, if you don't know what that means, um, you know, reach out and, and one of us can help you. But if it's not those exact dimensions, here's what's going to happen. So I'm going to click upload a photo. I'm going to choose this Plexus image that I pulled off the Plexus page. I haven't tweaked it, have done, made no changes to it. I'm going to click on that and you'll notice that it doesn't get everything in the window. You have to actually move it around. And if you've ever seen the cover photos where somebody's heads, <laughs> people will upload an image and maybe their heads are cut off, that's why. Now, let me show you what I've done is I've actually taken um, another image that I made some tweaks to and created my own banner and I made it the dimensions of 851 by 315 and we're going to upload that. So now you can see it's better positioned and you can have a, um, a banner made you know with your slogan over here to your left I just threw that in there shine bright um, so that everything's viewable and you can even put a phone number in here 
your name, email, website, whatever you want. So now that we've got our photos updated, um, let's go ahead and go on to the next item, which is you want to add a button right here in the blue. Click on add a button. Now this is just a call to action button basically. So it's, it's a way that if someone lands on your page, they can get in touch with you, email you, give you a phone call, you can direct it to a website. Um, you would just click here, get in touch, and for this, I'm going to actually just put call now. And then I would put in my number and click on add button. And you'll see now, so whenever someone lands on my page, especially if they're on mobile, all they have to do is tap that button and it's going to actually place the phone call. Um, like I said, you can make it send you an email, you can direct it to a web page, whatever you like. All right, um, the last thing for this video, uh, let's go ahead and do one thing here. Go ahead and click over here to the left on About, and go through here and make sure you enter as much information as you can. Your phone number, your email, your website if you have one, um, About You, you can add products that you are uh, you have with your opportunity. You can create a story. Um, basically here I would put like my mission statement, what I can do for people, how I can help them, things of that nature. And the last thing for this video, go in and like the page yourself. Like it, follow, and share it. Um, take it over to your personal page, share your new link with everybody so that you can start building your following. All right, we're gonna wrap for this video. Um, I think we've got one or two more videos that will follow this one. And I'm going to go in and show you some um, behind the scenes settings that you can apply to your page to make it visible to uh, the audience that you're trying to target and also help you uh, keep up to date and build your audience through um, creating some automated posts. So that's it and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.